Question 18. Calculate 52.85 plus 143.6. Now, what we're definitely not going to do here is try and do this in our heads. It's going to be an addition column method. But we've got the added difficulty that it's decimals, and one of the decimals has got two digits after the point, and the other one's only got one digit after the point. So it's going to be really crucial to line these numbers up in the correct columns. So what's going to help us here is actual column headings. Now the bigger number is 143.6. So we're going to need hundreds, tens, units, and we're going to need tenths, and we're also going to need hundredths because this one is 500. Now we've got the column headings established, we can start filling the numbers in. So we've got 52.85, so 52 is 5 tens and 2 units, and then we've got the 0.85, and 143.6 is 100, 4 tens, 3 units, and then we'll just put the 0.6 in. So as you can see, really crucial that we get that lined up, the decimal point must be lined up here. Now we are at, we are ready to get our answer. Now we've actually done all the hard work. If you can set your question up like that, just adding them together should be the easy bit. So 5 plus this gap here. Well, if there's a gap, what we normally do is fill any gap in with a 0, just to hold that place there. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 6 is 14, put your 4 in, carry your 1. 2 plus 3 is 5, plus that 1 is 6. 5 plus 4 is 9, and 1 plus nothing here is 1. The only thing that we need to do now is put our decimal point in, and all the decimal points need to line up, so our decimal point needs to go in there. So the final answer for your answer box is 196.4. Five. Crucial thing about that question is lining it up in the correct columns, so don't forget to use your column headings.